Hey guys, uh, so in this video we're going to talk about the meta query, okay? And we're going to query on the WordPress using meta query, so let's do that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom fields, okay, and then click on the post, okay, and create some new field, add some new fields. So earlier we had order, we had name. Uh, for this video we would require color, size, and price, so we're going to create some products. Uh, in fact, not products as such, but uh, are, we're going to add custom fields on our existing post. Uh, we're going to add three custom fields, uh, which is color, size, and price. So for color, what I've done is I've put the field name as color, uh, sorry, field label as color, field name as color, and then I've given this uh, select option for field type, and I have defined this for different colors you know um, you just need to uh, put each of the option on different lines and once you do that then uh, you will get an option to select these colors into the field type uh, on your posts okay so that's for the color and then we have let's see yeah the color and then size so for size we have size size select option again and these are the sizes that i've defined and then next we have is price so for price again i've selected text and i'm not given any option because we're going to fill in the price so i've gone to my post and to each of the posts i've given a certain uh, data for example this I've given his name as shirt, color, purple, size, excess, price 255. Similarly, for other posts as well, I've given them, you know, blue color, L200 price, even for the third post and so on. So I've created, uh, I've given these data to individual posts, color, size, and price over here and updated it. Okay, so once I've done that, uh, I've come back to my code. And over here we were, uh, we already know this, so get header, get footer, and then this is the container. We've got our W2P custom query as heading, arguments, array, post type, post, post per page 10, query, uh, we're passing the argument into it, and then we are running a while, query half post, query the post, and then we have title of the post. What is different uh, in this part of the tutorial is that We've got price, okay, and we're using the field function of WordPress, and we get passing a parameter field name is price. So it's gonna, gonna go ahead and give us the value of the price. So price and then price is value for that particular post. So it's gonna give us title, price, and then whatever the price is. Similarly, the field size and the field color is gonna give us the size and the color of that particular post, custom field. So once we go ahead and you know define this and we go back to our site and refresh the page, this is what we see. So we have price, we have size, we have color, and that's where it's coming from. Price, this is giving me the price right here. This is size, this one, and then the size value is this, and it's all coming from the post. So for example, for this particular post. If you click on it, you can see that it's got purple color, excess, and 255, and that's what we have here, 255, excess, and purple. Okay, brilliant. So now we need to do some query. You know, you have your client who wants a certain product to be displayed on certain pages, uh, depending on certain conditions. So let's see. So let's say the clients, uh, the client wants us to display uh, all the posts which are having uh, with the custom field of Excel. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our arguments array and we're going to define these meta key size. Why? Because uh, we go to the post custom field post size so this is the field name size 
so meta key is size and then meta compare is equal to which we you know learned in the previous videos and then meta value is equal to excel okay so excel so display all the posts the meaning of this they display all the posts maximum 10 uh, which have the meta key as size and the value of the size should be excel so we want all the post wherein the value of the size is excel so we've defined that over here now let's refresh the page and as you can see we've got two posts their title and all the other information and their size is equal to excel and that's what the job of meta compare is well because this is pretty simple you know uh, it was a very easy job to do but the fun begins from over here when client want us to you know compare certain things and put more condition into it okay cool so let's say besides uh, the fact that we want to display the post with the meta value uh, of the meta key size to be excel we also want their prices their prices to be below 100 so how do we do that what we'll do is we will first get rid of this okay and we are going to create a meta query okay so we're going to define meta query array and then we're going to pass two arrays inside of this okay so if we go on to sign you can see meta query and then we can pass multiple arrays for multiple conditions so first condition is this and second condition is this so if you go back the first condition is the same uh, it says type char character set these types can be different so if you go on to uh, codex wp meta query and if you check meta type which is a string you can see it could be these numeric binary care date but in this case it's a char which is okay and key key name is size compare is equal to value excel which is what we did earlier as well so all we're doing is passing this into an array and the second condition we have is that uh, the key price should be less than 100 okay and the type is numeric over here once we pass this into meta query these two conditions in form of an array and if you go back and refresh the page um, okay let me just fix that error one second Okay, so I fixed that there was a brace is missing. Okay, round bracket missing. Okay, cool. So we got that. Uh, well, let's go to our site and refresh the page. And as we can see, we've got the post, which has got the price less than 100. And the size is Excel. Okay. And that's what we're saying here. You know, it should be, size should be Excel and the value of the price key should be less than 100 okay now there's one more parameter we can pass which is relation okay and by default the value of relation between these two conditions is and okay so th by default it's and so if you check and refresh the page you will see it we get the same thing okay so which means even if we don't pass this uh, you know property relation then it means that by default it is and okay so it is checking whether the size should be equal to excel and the price should be less than 100 okay so let's change this to or because we have an option to change it to or so what will happen now, it will give me all the posts, titles and all other information that we are asking for, uh, wherein either the size uh, is Excel or the price is less than 100. So let's refresh the page. And as you can see, you've got either the post with the Excel size or the price which is below, 50, below 100. Yep. Great. Okay, next condition. Let's say we want all the posts with the size equal to Excel, but the price instead of less than 100, it should range between 50 and 100. What do we do then? Okay, so let's get rid of this condition and rewrite this condition. 
okay so here what we're doing is okay so key is the price and compare it instead of using the less than sign we're using between so we are saying that the price should be between the values of 50 and 100 so we pass these values in array okay so what this is going to do is it's going to say that okay give me all the posts with the size of excel and the price between 50 and 200 okay so let's see what we get when we refresh the page okay um, and because we are using or over here that is why we are getting all those posts which are the price between 50 to 100 or the size excel as you can see yeah yeah so this is between 50 and 200 that's why it's displayed this size excel that's why it's displayed so let's change this to end so that we don't have any so let's change the size to L yep we've got one so this is the one which has got the price range between 50 to 200 and the size of L yep great so this is another condition that we can check all right okay so let's check another condition a bit complicated uh, so let's say we want to have all the post uh, with the price less than 100 and the color as green and uh, we want to have the um, size as L okay so what do we do then so this is our meta query okay and this is the array we need to pass the array what we're going to do is we're going to pass in an array obviously this says price key price is less than 100 and uh, we're going to pass in another array but this time with multiple information you know multiple array into this multiple conditions so we have this array in which we have multiple arrays with multiple conditions so we have array within array uh, so in this way this is going to check if the price is less than 100 and then we have another array which is going to check if the size is equal to L and if the color is equal to green okay and we are saying or over here so we can also put relation over here as or but this relation we can change it to and okay and see let's see if we have any such post no we don't okay so let's go ahead and um, say greater than 100 so you want the post with the price greater than 100 and size L and color green size either L or green yeah yeah we do have okay so what we're saying is saying price should be greater than 100 is the price greater than 100 yes it is now we want the posts which have sizes either L or color green so this has got L so this is displayed and this has also got L and this has got green okay brilliant so you can play around with this you know you can make multiple combinations like this and then there's you can go on to codex meta query and you can go through this article uh, which will give you more information about you know how to do it so this is the relation optional defaults to n and then you there's array you can also pour, you know pass in multiple arrays like this that we have just done so this relation or is for the relation between the first array and the second array and then this array itself contains two more array which has two more condition and the relation is and so you can you know play around with these and uh, go ahead and create your own queries and it's going to be really interesting yeah so this this meta query querying with wordpress makes it really really powerful all right so see you in the next video guys take care bye bye